Well then, let's see if I'm right about this. Um, pour contents of flask of acid on the trap door. Does that work? Yeah. The powerful acid has eaten a hole clean through the metal of the trap door. You can see the faint glow of the room, the power stone shining up. Yeah. Oh, we still have the flask. And now we need to, um, I think, rope. Tie it to the hole. Oh, no, wait, to this thing. And just upsell down. Or s yeah. With a few death knots learned while making thatch houses, you tie the rope securely to the wall mounted manacle. Climb through hole. Now the game is fun while the puzzle solving. Yeah, like a pro. Now grab the dang power stone without falling to the floor, please. Yeah, the rope twisting and burning in your grasp. You reach out and snatch the power stone from the pedestal. Since your feet never touch the floor, you're safe from the deadly trap below. Can I go back up, please. That's power stone number three. We have all three of them now. So, theoretically, we could defeat Sunway now. But that would be a short game. I'm sure there's something coming up that will prevent us from doing that. Can I take the rope? You have to tie a very tight knot to secure the rope. After a few experimental tugs, you realize you'll never get it undone. Fair enough. This is worth a save. And checking out our score. 83. We're a squire now. Neat. We've passed the 25% mark. So now that we have all three power stones, now what? I think we have to go past that, um, that teleporter thing in the very extreme hot room. I really don't have anything I can use. Power stones are not used just yet. The flask is empty. <laughs> I can polish it. Not sure why I would. Dead red. Vortex takes magic or puts magic into. It's a very useful item, but it won't help with the teleporter, I'm afraid. Let me try something. Uh, push, go, up. I didn't think about that, but I have to try now. That teleporter is some sort of magical portal thing. Hey, that's the rat. Ooh. Oh, poor rat. Oh, no. Good grief, that rat didn't just go through the door, he went into it. There's some kind of teleportal tele spell shimmering in the doorway, and the rat got caught and sent into the corridor beyond, where something terrible seems to have happened. That was mean, poor rat. I'm... Uh, can I take the teleporter? Carefully examination reveals that there is no point of purchase for you to take the teleportal. If you touch the portal itself, you're liable to be teleported. The frame is attached and can be handled in theory, but right now it's red hot. So, we need to cool it down. Ah! Yeah! We need to put something in the freezer. I didn't forget. We haven't done anything we haven't done anything with the freezer yet. But what to put in there though? We'll figure that out soon. Uh maybe the dates or the bone sword? I'm guessing here. But I think you need to cool something and put it in front of the teleport and then the frame gets weak. You take it and then that takes care of one problem. But I'm not sure how to disable the hot trap beyond the teleporter. Poor rat, that was mean. And we died as well to that one 
points. Okay, let's go to the freezer. What can we put inside the freezer that would actually work? Put the tentacle parts in the freezer. Frost forms. Oh. Parts. Okay, that didn't really work. I tried. Dull sword. Fruit bone. Uh, music box? No. Let's put the dead red in there? When the dead red goes into the freezer, there is a flash of light and a change in the soft humi humming, soft humming. Frost forms on the dead red. Take it. No, don't take the freezer. Take the contents. The dead red comes out of the freezer stiff and cold and stays that way. Some magical property of the freezer has put the rat into a permanent deep freeze. It's a ratsicle. Lick. Yuck. When would you ever lick a frozen dead rat? That's gross. Yeah. This game has some pretty bizarre items. A ratsicle. I think that's the first time ever in a game that I had to dip a dead rat in a freezer. By the way, freezer? I thought it was the Middle Ages. Seems a bit high-tech for the time. Anyway... Up. Well, I mean... What? No, don't open. Push. Push the wrong thing. No, I, I do realize that back then they had ways to preserve food, but not in a way we do nowadays. So when I say freezer, I instantly think of the freezers we have. That made little sense because they didn't have the technology back then. Anyway, so do I put the ratsicle in the teleporter? No. Um. Oh, in the door frame. There we go. What the? There's a loud hiss and a quick burst of steam as the frozen rat hits the red-hot metal. The frame finally cools to a normal temperature, though the rat is melted away in the process. Now can we take the teleporter? You're on the right track. The frame is now cool enough. Unfortunately, it is as smooth as glass and set deeply into the stone doorway. You can't see any way to pull it out of the frame. Hmm... Oh, wait, sort, carve up, door frame, carve up, teleportal, uh, push, teleportal, or push the door frame, pull it, it is as smooth as glass, I set deeply into the stone doorway. Slick metallic substance. Trust sword at door frame. Damn it! I'm close, I can feel it. Statue ring, music box. Oh wait, vortex stone. Take magic from the teleportal. Hmm. I thought it would do something. Tentacle parts. Oh! Wait, 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 wait! Put the tentacle parts on top of the frame, like suction cups. Yes! Yes! There we go. 
Grasping the tentacles, you give a gentle tug. Like Gossamer, the frame and teleportal flow gently free of the stone doorway. A quick roll up and the magical field is stored away safely. Woo! But this wall, this room is still too hot. Wait a minute. I think I have an idea. It's a teleporter, so maybe we can transport this water, unroll it. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, put the teleporter door in the window so that the water flows to the hot room. Damn, I'm clever today. Nice! I'm on a roll today! Oh, there goes the teleporter. Oops, you finally lost your grip on the slippery edge of the teleportal, but not before a large quantity of water was dumped into the hot corridor. Now the game is fun! A lot of puzzles and I solved most of them quite quickly. Uh, we still have a bunch of items, most I never used. At least we won't starve. We have fruit, we have a little bit of meat on a bone, we have uh, dates. And I guess we could eat the tentacle parts. I mean, it does say. chew. Yuck. So, can we now advance to the next room? That'd be neat. We took out the teleporter, we took out the fire trap, so it should be safe. Poor rat, though. That was so mean. Yeah. Walk across the iron floor. I wonder where Sunway is. Oh. Dragon bones. The huge decoration above the eastern door looks very authentic. These are the remains of an actual dragon. You'd rather not contemplate how the sorcerer came by them. He probably killed it. Uh oh. Face me, sorcerer. Your doom is at hand. Who's there? Who dares? Ah. The prince himself has come to visit. How amusing. Prince no longer fiend, but king. Twenty years ago you swore to take revenge on me. That time has come, but I couldn't wait to see you, so here I am. If you won't defend yourself, I'll strike you down where you stand. It's true, my powers are weak right now. You were shrewd enough to realize that, but I'm far from helpless. Well, well, my little holding spell still works, even after all this time. So, you've come to slay me, eh? How do you feel now, prince who calls himself king? Can you move your arms? Your legs? Can you speak? No? Oh, how sad. Not that your puny sword could harm me. Did you see, kingling? Do you see behind me the awesome arcane power of the circle of the spheres? This is what gives me the power, and no sword can reach it. You were doomed to fail. Spheres, eh? I wonder if there's a connection between those and the power stones. But suppose you're not as stupid as you look. Perhaps you know that the power stones were my weakness. Perhaps you're carrying even, some even now. I wouldn't do the. Uh, it wouldn't do to be defeated by you through carelessness. Let me relieve you of your burden. Can you read my thoughts? Hey, I can wiggle my fingers. The spell is wearing off. Careful now. Can't you just walk up to the potential booby trap like you? Who knows? Perhaps this was your plan all along. To get me close to you without thinking so you could unleash some horrible magic you're carrying. Hmm? What were the words of the detection spell? We're gonna find out what's gonna happen next in the next video. So I'll see you then.